Hey folks, this is Vincent Adderley with Ads Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to try Star Wars Villainous. This game supports two to four players. It's for ages 10 and up, and the average play time is 20 minutes per player. So, this is our first time playing Star Wars Villainous. In fact, any Villainous style game. Yes, there's actually the original Villainous, which features Disney characters, and they've rethemed this one to Star Wars, which I found to be more appealing. So that's what prompted me to pick this up. So what are we doing in Star Wars Villainous? Well, we are taking the role of an evil villain, and each villain in the box has their own unique way of playing and their own goal that they're trying to achieve. Speaking of the box, here's a quick look at that. Uh, you've got... This is Kylo Ren, so that is one of the villains that we'll be seeing, but not in this particular playthrough. Um, Moff Gideon from the Mandalorian series, and Asajj Ventress, who we saw, I believe, in the Clone War cartoons. Um, these are some of the objectives, stuff that we're not using for this game because they belong to the other heroes. Kylo Ren, for example, his end game goal is to get all of his tokens onto the dark side and he'll be flip-flopping these tokens back and forth but as i said we're not using these today each character also has their own deck of cards and fate cards um, these cards will be played fate cards are typically bad and feature the good side of the star wars universe trying to stop the villain from doing bad things so that's what's in the box there um, there's also some other components that I didn't show you. Again, these are the other player boards that we could be using, but, you know, we're not for this particular game. Um, each character also has a unique villain guide, and this will explain any special setup rules, as well as what is required in order to win the game. For example, Darth Vader is who I am playing as, and I have my Darth Vader board up here. And Darth Vader has special setup. Place Luke Skywalker focused side up above the Death Star on the hero side of the Death Vader's sector. Sector being this entire player board. There's Mustafar, Death Star, Cloud City, and the Emperor's Throne Room locations there. And that's, again, this is all considered one sector. Uh, Luke Skywalker and his friends. There's some information there. I'm not going to read it off to you. Um, but... Let's see if I can see where the goal is. Uh, Darth Vader's ambition. Okay, so when Darth Vader, Emperor Palpatine, and Luke Skywalker on his conflicted side are in the Emperor's throne room, Darth Vader may pay six ambition to win the game. And there are some other things here that explain, you know, what could he possibly do to help him do that. But again, I'm not going to get too much into it. But every villain in this game has their own little booklet, and you can learn more about them. Uh, you have who? General Grievous? General Grievous. The objective is right in the red circle. Oh, okay. Circle. A much simpler. Collect eight <laughs> lightsabers. So all she has to do is collect these eight lightsaber tokens in a variety of different ways in order to win the game. Um, is there anything of special setup is here? I don't think there's anything major. Set the eight lightsaber tokens in a pile. These represent the lightsabers that General Grievous must collect. So it looks like Darth Vader was slightly more involved, but yeah, so it goes. So again, I have to get Luke Skywalker here, who is unaffected by any sort of vanquish actions, meaning get rid of these good cards or whatever, but I have to flip him to his conflicted side, bring him over here to the throne room, get Darth Vader over here, and the Emperor, which is in my deck of cards here, set, set, uh, spend six of these ambition tokens, and I will win the game. But that is probably going to be a lot harder than <laughs> collecting eight lightsabers, I well, guess we'll see. Well, I don't know. Every hero that I defeat, that's the only time I can collect lightsabers. So you collect lightsabers every time you defeat a hero. Mm -hmm. uh, there are going to be heroes in her fate deck. You might see familiar faces like Anakin uh, Skywalker. You might see uh, Ben Kenobi and so on. So as these Jedi come up and he and she defeats them, she'll be collecting lightsabers. That's how she primarily does that. But there may be some other cards in her main deck here, which she has. In, she has four cards. I have four cards. That's what we start the game with. And that's our default hand size uh, and max hand limit at the moment. Um, so anyway... Uh, as far as how the game is played, again, we're relatively new to this. Oh, here's your villain guide back. 
Here's a quick look at each player board. I'm going to stay in my sector. She's going to stay in her sector. Primarily, these would be side by side, but camera shot, it was just easier to do this. Um, down here is where I can put my stuff. And up here is where my enemy fate cards will go. And what these typically do is they will cover up spaces like that and stay there until I defeat them. And the reason why this is bad is because each of these spaces has a number of different actions that you can take when you go there. So right now I've got four different actions I can take on my turn when I bring Darth Vader to that location. But if there's a hero or whatever, like say Princess Leia, for example, if she's here covering this up and I go here, I can only take the bottom two actions. So these heroes will be blocking our actions as they are drawn. But again, she's trying to get heroes out mm -hmm. and kill them. So I may not want to get her cards out there, you know, normally. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Um... There's more to the game than that, and it's probably easier just to play it again. This is our first time, so um, it's probably just easier to, to start playing and we'll explain things as we go. But that is the primary gist of the game. I'm trying to complete my objective. She's trying to complete her objective. We Once on our turn, we're going to um, earn one ambition token, which is a second form of currency. There's credits as well. The first, or the first player starts with no credits. The second player starts with one credit. Mm -hmm. And the first player is either the person that last used the forest or I think whoever is the oldest. You definitely try to use the forest with your trunk of the garage. I so did. I did. I, I, I like to impress her with my forest powers by magically opening the trunk with our groceries inside. And then my hand is in my pocket trying to find the right button. <laughs> I end up setting off the car alarm. It's a lot of fun, guys, really. Mm -hmm. You should try it anyway. So, yeah. Um, so I am first player. And you start with a hand of four cards. Uh, like I said, you also, and that, that comes from this deck here, the fate cards are typically bad, so we don't want to draw those. Again, we get our own little player villain guide. Also a reference card. These are all the different actions that we'll find on our board as we move around, and the villain objectives are on the other side if we need a refresher. But those are all the different types of actions that one can take, and I guess we'll get to them when we get to them. So, um, let's go ahead and take a look at my hand real quick and see what I've got. Um, so some of these are like one-offs one that only come into play, um, you know, once and then that's it. The cost of the cards will vary. The very top left is credits and the middle left number is ambition. So again, there's credits is one type of currency and then there's ambition, which is a second type of currency. Um, at the beginning of every turn, before I forget, I earn one ambition, and that's no matter, you know, who's taking their turn. You just automatically earn one ambition at the beginning of your turn, and then you move to a spot that you haven't been into. Your starting location is just that. You can never move back to it. You just simply start here, and then you're limited to these four spaces throughout the game. Um, once you get a vehicle into deep space, there may be some actions there that you can take as well, but we don't have any vehicles out in play right now. So let's take a look here. Um, I may just want to throw that out there, but I do not have uh, the required credits for that yet. This one doesn't cost any. That's one I'm going to want to get out immediately, I think. Um, I think I want to do that. But in order to play cards in this game, you need to take certain actions to do it. So let's just look around. Um, Luke Skywalker does not block actions like other fate cards do. He just kind of hangs here. And while he's on the focused side, he says, uh, heroes at Luke Skywalker's location cannot be targeted by vanquish actions. Vanquishing is a whole thing in this game um, that will allow you to get rid of fate cards that are hanging around. And you have to typically add cards to your side and meet or exceed their power level in order to do that. Then you discard all cards involved, typically. Um, so I think what I'm going to do, this is, uh, I kind of want to play that right away. Uh, that, I don't know if I, hmm. Okay, I, I, just to get the game moving, um, I'm going to move here, I think. Okay, this will allow me to take 
an ambition action. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, but it costs nothing to do. I'm going to put the emperor down in his throne room, and we may have to adjust this as necessary so that we can fit cards. So I've got Emperor Palpatine here. He's got a strength of five down here. Uh, play Emperor Palpatine to the Emperor's throne room uh, for six ambition defeat Luke Skywalker. So I'm just going to throw him here in preparation for defeating Luke down the line. Um, and then I take one of these. Uh, I can do all actions involved. Um, this one here is uh, play a card. This is gain two credits. I'm going to go ahead and gain two credits. One, two, and I'm going to play a card, and I think I'm going to play, um, okay, I kind of like that one, and, okay, so I'm going to play this one. So this is, I'm going to play this to Cloud City. Um, it has a strength of one, but I, on, and there's an action, this is, uh, on a, there's a space here, it's, uh, activate. I'm trying to see where it is. I think it's, uh, it's, it's maneuver. Which one is it? Activate is, I thought it was one of these spaces. Oh, maybe it's this one? That looks like it's maneuver. That's maneuver. I'm looking for the activate one. I wonder if it's actually on a card. I wonder, yeah, I wonder if it is on a card. Mm. Well, anyway, when I do the activate action, I, oh, it might be on a vehicle, actually. It might mm -hmm. be one of the vehicle actions. Mm -hmm. Anyway, remove a hero vehicle from your sector, which would be over here, uh, then remove Imperial officers. So I'll be able to remove hero vehicles at the cost of Imperial officers. Typically, uh, in space, if there's an enemy vehicle there, um, it will cover my actions like heroes would my spaces here. But in order to get rid of a hero vehicle, I'd have to sacrifice my own vehicle. And then mm -hmm. they sort of cancel each other out. There's no power struggle. It's just you discard, I discard, and that's it. These will get rid of a, an enemy vehicle uh, without spending my vehicle to do it. So it costs two actions. Correct. So now I have to spend my two credits and bring them back into the supply. And this last one here is discard cards. And... <sighs> discard cards and redraw. Now that one is crazy good right now, but I can't afford it. Um, so I think I might discard this one, which costs four ambition. I've only got one. So I'm gonna, it's gonna be a while. So I'm gonna discard this card here and draw up to my four. Yep, so now I've got four cards again. All right, and I believe that is it for me. Darth Vader was uh, here. So, mm -hmm. so what is this? What is that number? That's the strength value of oh, that. strength value. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Now, I was reading somewhere that Emperor Palpatine is not affected by... Uh, yeah, I was reading on his little guide here. Emperor Palpatine is classified as a Sith Lord, not a hero or anything. Mm -hmm. He is not affected by cards or actions that affect allies, including Maneuver and Vanquish. Crazy. So you cannot vanquish him. Yeah. He just kind of stays there. Un unless there's some other card that gets rid of him, yeah. which having never played this, I couldn't tell you. Yeah. But he's kind of a special case. That's crazy. All right. All right, so where would you like to move Grievous? Have you thought oh, about it while I was taking I was, forever for my turn? Well, I'll be taking a lot longer. <laughs> oh, great. I love this already. <laughs> All right, I think... Oh, man. So this is Vanquish. So if I use if I do this, yes. does that mean I Vanquish one of your No, people? no, no. How Vanquish is whenever there's fate cards up here uh, that are covering... You can never actively interact with my Yeah, board. okay, I figured. You... Vanquish means you have to have heroes in the same location, or you're... So I cannot vanquish someone that's on this column, right? You can. Oh. Okay, so if you had a hero here, mm -hmm. or if, if you had an enemy over here covering these up, mm -hmm. and you had sufficient strength at this location, mm -hmm. you could tank the vanquish action here to pick one of these columns and vanquish. Grievous does not have to be in the same location as the vanquish action, and that's... That makes sense because only this space is Vanquish and only this space is Vanquish. Okay. 
So it doesn't make sense. You could, If you follow your logic, you'd never be able to vanquish here or here because there's no vanquish action there. Yeah. No, whenever you take vanquish, you can van vanquish any column. I see. So as long as there's sufficient troops across from them mm -hmm. to take them out. Okay. So... Um, I'm going to take three credits. Okay, so you're going to move here mm -hmm. and take three credits. Yes, so one, two, three. And we'll put that on your board. So you got four credits so, yeah. hanging out there. Four credits. You can now do the play a card or the uh, play an ambition card or vanquish. this vanquish. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I will do... Uh, I don't think it <laughs> um, I'll do... I'll play a card then. Okay. How many actions do I get? All of them. You can do all of them. Oh. In any order. So you can play an ambition card first and then play um, a regular card. Uh, a card that co these the ones that say play a card those cost credits. Mm -hmm. The ones that uh, have this play an ambition card. This is an so this is yeah, an ambition card. Ambition. This is a credits card. Yep. Okay. Oh, using ambition abilities. So, even though on the back here it says activate, mm -hmm. um, I can activate this by playing an ambition. Instead of instead of playing an ambition card, if I were to go here in the future, you and can use that. I can I can spend an ambition to use this ability. Okay, but you have to spend an ambition. Correct. Token yes. To do it, I see. So I have no ambition token, so it'd be kind of silly for me to play a card and then use ambition, even though I don't have any ambition tokens. You could, I mean, yeah, you, it's possible you may not be able to do every single yeah. action. It's up to right. you. I'll do, I'll play a card. I'll play this card. Okay. And again, you can do all four, but you can pass on the ones you don't want to do. Okay. I will play this card, spend one credit. Okay. So where do you want to play this person at? This is the B1 Battle Droids, and it has zero strength, but... B1 battle droids get plus one strength for each other uh, ally at their location. Yeah. Um, so. Mm, I'll just put him there. So I have no choice but to put him there? No, you can put him anywhere. Where, oh, okay. where would you like to put him? Mm. Any of these four locations. You've yeah. got Layer of Grievous, Seluk. Does this mean you collect the ambition? No, that only... means you play an ambition card. I see. You should have collected an ambition at the beginning of your turn, remember? Oh, yeah. Okay. So, okay. So I'll do... Alright, I'll do that. So that I, can, I can only play one card, right? Correct, one card. Alright, so yeah, I paid for that. Okay, one credit. Mm -hmm. And... Here's a quick look at this, by the way. This came with the game. Uh, plus one, minus one modifiers as necessary. Credits and ambition are all in here. No, I can't really do anything else, right? Can you, you have a card with one ambition cost on it? You can play that. If not, you don't have to. Oh, like in my hand? I can do it in my hand. Too. Yeah. Is there a card in your hand that costs ambition of one or less? No. Okay. In that case, you can pass on that. And Vanquish, you would also pass. Yeah. Okay. So from my understanding, that's it. There's nothing else to do. So, so if no. this said one, that would cost one ambition Correct. to do this. Right. But this cost six ambition to defeat Luke Correct. Skywalker. Correct. Wow. Mm -hmm. Then you'd win. It was free to play him <laughs> yeah. ambition, but I still had to use the play an ambition card, even though he was free. I still have to use this action to get him out here. Oh, uh, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Okay. So you have to now draw up. You can draw up to four cards now. Okay. 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 Um, so here's what I got. All right. Let's first gain my ambition. And... Ooh. I like that. That's actually quite nice. Um, okay, so I need to figure out where I'm going to move to and what actions I'm going to perform. Um, this is play an ambition action if I wanted to. Um, this, that might be a good idea. This is play a card. This is gain one credit. And this is the, 
Is that fate? I don't know if I want to fate her so soon because I'm afraid... You know what? Just for the fun of it, just to start that process along. Or I could move here. There's no Vanquish that I could take, but I get three credits. I can fate her. You know what? I'm going to move here to Cloud City. And I'm going to take one credit. And I'm going to play... Uh, for my play a card action, I'm going to play um, Imperial Stormtroopers. Um, by themselves, they have one strength, but Imperial Stormtroopers gain plus one strength for every other Imperial Stormtrooper in Darth Vader's entire sector. So I'm going to spread the love around, I think. I might put the, the Stormtroopers here, and I have to pay one credit to do that, so I'm out of credits again. And now I'm going to take the Ambition action, and I might go with this one here. This is Join Us or Die. Move Luke Skywalker one location toward the Emperor's Throne Room. Mm -hmm. So that's going to cost me one Ambition, so I'm going to give up one of those. And Luke Skywalker is going to move that way. And that was my Ambition. I've already played a card. I gain my credit, and I'm going to Fate her. To fate her, I draw two cards from the top of her fate deck, choose one, and then I get to play it wherever I want. Interesting. So now I'm going to draw two cards and figure out which one of these two... Uh, choose up to four strength of allies in General Grievous Sector. She has just that B1 there. Um, or uh, General Grievous must immediately just... Wow, okay. I think I'm going to go with this one. Um, so this is a restriction. So this is discarded into your discard pile. Okay. And I'm going to play Under Repair on you. And what that says is when Under Repair is played, this is a restriction, General Grievous must immediately discard down to two cards. General Grievous may only draw up to two cards at the end of his turn. Pay six credits to remove Under Repair. So this is now a restriction. Now, the rules say that you just simply put it under you, but you it follows you, but you can still do all the actions underneath. I you suggest could... that we just sort of remember that it's over here. That's fine. Um, so wow. it says you immediately discard down the two cards. And in wow. order to fix your hand size, you have to pay six credits. Six credits. Everything in the Fate deck is really nasty, I'm wow. just saying. Okay, two cards, you say. Mm -hmm. You know what? I'll just do this. So... Yeah, so they have to. That goes into your no, personal I'm, discard. No, I'm, I'm using that. Oh, okay. Trained in the Jedi arts. During their turn, if another player targets you with a fate action, you may play Trained in the Jedi arts. They do not reveal cards from the fate deck, but instead must play a. It's kind of late to do that. It now. is late, but I don't want to pay six credits. Well, no, <laughs> that would mean that I don't know which one was first. You have to play this before I fate you. Oh. This should have been done before I started drawing cards. Oh. Because what would happen here is I must play a hero from your fate discard but, pile. But my fate discard pile is empty, so it's moved. Yeah, all right. They do not reveal cards from the fate, but instead... Okay, fine. We'll just retcon it and say that you played this prior to me announcing that I was going to fate you. Yeah. So <laughs> I must play a hero from your fate discard pile, but, but it was empty. Yeah. So this would go into your discard pile. I wanted to save it, but at the same time, I really didn't want to pay six credits. That's a lot. Okay, of I understand. <laughs> yeah, it is. Um, so I did all four of my actions, and I now draw up... To, I can, yeah, just drop to my hand limit of four. Mm -hmm. One, two. Okay, so there's that, and it is now your turn. You gain an ambition... Mm hmm Okay. How much money do I have? You have three credits. Three? Okay. And two ambition. Okay. Let's take... Okay. I'm going to fate you. First? Yeah. All right. So these are the two that you have to choose from, and I'll show the camera mm -hmm. what they are. Um, okay. So R2-D2. May be played to an engaged hero vehicle. Darth Vader cannot use that ally. So I do not have a vehicle out there. So that's kind of useless, but you can, you know, you can still play it if you want, but it wouldn't do anything. Move Luke Skywalker one location away from the Emperor's throne room. Flip Luke Skywalker to his focused side. So these are the two that you have to choose from. However, R2 would not work here because there is no vehicle. Yeah, I want to play this one. So now Luke is basically back here again. And he flips over? 
Um, oh, he's already flipped over. He's already, he's already on his focus Is side. Okay. All right, so now you get to do your other actions. Two credits, discard and redraw, and play a card. Okay, two credits. Two credits. I'm going to play... Um, oh, I'm stupid. If that thing followed me around, right? What thing? This thing, yes. the under repair, and I had moved here. Yes. And it would follow me in here? Yes, it would. That restriction what, follows you forever until you pay the credits to get rid of it. What if I had went here? Oh, no, I can't go in the same spot. What if I went here and used the vanquish op option? To do what? Could I have vanquished? You don't it? vanquish fate restrictions. Um, vanquish is whenever there's heroes oh, up there's here. Oh, there's heroes up here. Okay, mm -hmm. see? Okay. Uh, all right, anyways, so I did the two credits, I did the fate, now I can play a card. You can play a card and also discard and draw back up. Yeah. I'm going to... Now, what's the difference between vanquishing and defeating a hero? Is there no... Um, defeat, they're, they're the same thing except... Uh, where do you see that at? Because... Well, I don't, I see de defeat, but I, look at this one, right. the second paragraph. Um, when taking, okay, so heroes cannot move away from Magna Vanguard's location, even when Kit Fisco is played. When taking a vanquish action, you may pay one ambition to move Droidicas in your sector to the location of that vanquish actions. Uh, I don't see the word defeat anywhere. What are, what are you talking about? I'm talking about like with his goals to defeat heroes because yeah. on the other side, he has to defeat heroes. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so defeating is the same thing as vanquishing. vanquishing? Yes. Let's see. Mm -hmm. I'm so confused. Because you can take the vanquish action and then be unsuccessful at it. Yeah. If you don't have the power that you need for whatever reason. Okay. So, so as long as you defeat heroes that come out, okay. you get their lightsabers. I'll pay one credit. For another battle droid? Yeah. All right, so you have to pay one credit for that. Mm -hmm. But now these have modifiers because now you get, uh, they get plus one strength for each other ally at their location. So they should each So they each one, get right? a plus one, plus one. So now you've got four strength here. Actually, No, it's only two. two. Yeah. And now I, it says I can discard cards. I don't really want to discard anything though. You know what? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna discard this one, and I'm going to draw my hand up to four, and then it is your turn, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. So. Mm. Mm. Okay. So maybe I'll stick to this stuffs. Okay. So. That's kind of nice up there. Um, vanquish credits. Fate, discard. I'm not getting what I need. And there's two credits there. I get first I get one ambition. Do I want two credits? This is play a card. Uh this is three credits. Vanquish. Discard fate for her. I'm I'm very worried about giving her access to more fate cards. I don't want her. If she, there are cards in her deck that let her find heroes and play them without negative effects on them. So I kind of want to play them and hurt her more, but at the same time, I don't want to fuel her lightsaber collection mm -hmm. um, any more than I have to. So it's, it's, it's kind of a, a rough thing for me. Um, let's do this. I'll move here. Did you collect your ambition? I did. Oh. I've got that there, but I'm, I'm going to keep mine. And I'm, I'm not going to play the ambition thing, but I will collect two credits. One, two. And I will play a card. I will play... Uh, Death Troopers, which costs two credits. When performing a Vanquish action, Death Troopers may be used to defeat a hero at their location or at an adjacent location. So typically, I can use these guys to... You know, I mean, any other of these cards can attack across. Mm -hmm. These guys can attack across and to the side. Nice. So I'm going to keep these nice and centralized. I'm, I might put them with my Imperial officers here mm -hmm. or maybe near these Death Troopers um, or my Storm Troopers. So maybe I'll just put them here at the cost of my only two credits. Was that the play a card action? Uh, yes, it was. All right, I'm going to use this. Uh, hunting Jedi. Um... During their turn, if another player takes a play a card action, you, you may play Hunting Jedi, which is this. Reveal cards from your fate deck until you reveal a hero. Play that hero to any location in your sector. 
Um, it says play it. That means you have to observe whatever bad things happen on yeah. the card. If it had said place, you wouldn't have to. But play is a completely different... Play and place in this game are two words. Play is you take the consequences of whatever's on that card. Place is so put the card out. So they wouldn't be out here? If they will it? be. No. All right. Let's first just All go right. ahead and do it. <laughs> All right. So I'll just pick a hero, right, until I see a hero. Keep, yeah. Keep drawing until you get to a hero. Okay. Mm -hmm. You got Kit Fisto. Um, so because it says the word play and not place, you have to do what this says. Okay. Uh, which is, when Kit Fisto is played, you may move all heroes to any locations. Um, when Kit Fisto is defeated, General Grievous collects one additional lightsaber. He has a strength of three. So, because you're the one that prompted this, mm -hmm. you get to choose where to put him. Okay. Where would you like to put him? I'll put him here. Okay, so you're going to put him there. He covers that up, which is okay, and you can discard this card. Now, does this first card that I picked up, does it go in my discard it, or does it go back? Discard pile. Now, anytime you search the Fate deck... Mm -hmm. for something. You have to take all the cards in the discard pile, shuffle them up, and create a new deck. Okay. So go ahead and take all of these now, shuffle them up, and that, that is a new fate deck. Because I searched it. Yes. Anytime you have to search your fate deck for something, you then have to form a new deck. I think I remember that from the other Disney villainous stuff okay. that I did. All right, so it is still your turn. Well... Okay, so I was here. So I played the play a card. I gained two credits. Ambition, I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, okay. Okay. I don't think I can do much else. I can, I can choose to discard if I want. This one's kind of nice, but I don't have a whole lot of heroes out there. I might discard this one just to get more things drawn. These are special cases, which... They might okay. I'm gonna discard this one and draw up. Okay, and now at the end of my turn, I'll just drop to my hand size, which is four, and that is it for me. And it is now your turn. Okay, I'm going to pay two credits. Oh wait, no, I'm coming back here. Okay. Actually, so no. When you're here, you can only do three credits and play a card at this point. Yeah. Because Kit Fisto was now covering this up. Can I do this one instead? Yes, you can. No, wait. Which one's the... the, the this one here. That's the one. This is uh, Vanquish. Vanquish. So what do you want to do first? first? First, you get an ambition. Yeah. First, I want to play a card. Okay. And I'm going to pay two credits to play Jordica. Jordicas. Okay. So this says... When performing a vanquish action, you may pay one ambition to move droidicas to the location of that action. Droidicas must be used in that action. Um, you may pay... So, essentially, you can move droidicas around at the cost of one ambition is what yeah. this says. So, you're going to pay two credits to move droidica... Or to have credit... Uh, droidicas move there? Yes. Okay. So, I'm going to spend your two credits. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then... Um... There's an ambition action... Discard and redraw and vanquish. I'm going to vanquish that because that should equal to three, right? Right. So you've got uh, two strength and then that means you have to give up one of your battle droids because this is three. Mm -hmm. This is two. Well, uh, oh, this says plus one strength for each other. Oh, yeah. This gets in. This also gets mm -hmm. a plus one. So you get plus one plus one because you've got all of these yeah. allies at the same location. Right? Yeah. Oh, this should get another plus one, right? Um, it just said... Oh, wait. No, this says... No, it says... This doesn't get a plus one. This one. These get plus these ones. Two. Yeah. Okay. So these have a strength of two, two, and two. Yes. Yeah, so so you're going to have to spend two of these cards to outdo the three that's sitting here. Two of them? Well, yeah. This has a strength of three. Oh. Two, two, and two. You need to spend yeah. four, so like okay. you have to get rid of two of these cards to vanquish Kit Fisto. Okay. I'll just spend. Um... Dang, that's tough. Okay. Um... Okay. I guess I'll just spend, oh man. Oh, just to clarify real quick, when I took the discard action, you're not supposed to draw up immediately, 
But I also, I did that at the end of my turn the last couple of times I did it, so it didn't affect anything. Okay. I would have drawn up anyway. But anyway, go ahead. I'm going to just get rid of... These two? That's four, though. Well, all, no matter what you do, it's going to be four. It's two. Oh, yeah, you're right. Unless you add another B1 battle droid here, which will make these more powerful, you have four, four, and four regardless. Or two, two, and two. I'll get rid of these two. There's right. a reason for it. All right. So you can always move uh, Droidica's with ambition Unless. later, right? Unless. Unless. Should I put these back? Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay, Droidica. Droidica. I'm getting rid of Droidica and one and, of the battle drones. Okay, so one. Uh, you're getting rid of, there's two strength and two strengths. That's four. <laughs> I know the decision making is horrible. I know. Because the Vanquish, oh, but I'd have to pay an ambition for that. You know what? Okay. Okay, these two, for certain. Hurry, before I change my mind. <laughs> All right, real quick. Um, I'm just going to quickly play this, then we'll finish what you're doing. Oh, damn. Um, during their turn, it says you are not a Jedi yet. During their turn, if another player defeats a hero, you may play you are not a Jedi. Uh, flip Luke Skywalker to his conflicted side. Ah, very nice. So while he's on the conflicted side, when a hero is defeated... Move Luke Skywalker one location toward the Emperor's throne room. Whoa. So he is now conflicted at the moment. But uh, the good news is, is that these are discarded. Mm -hmm. uh, I discard this one. Kit Fisk Fisto is now gone, mm -hmm. and he goes back into your discard pile. And you get two lightsabers, because lightsabers. you get an extra one for Kit, for Kit Fisto. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you did the play a card already, and you did the vanquish. Now, there's an ambition action and a discard um, if you want. I'm going to skip the ambition. The discard... Um, um, oh, should I? I have two here. Um, it's tough. You know what? I'll, I'll just skip that action too. Dang it. All right, what are, so discard and ambition, you're going to skip those? Yeah, this was, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. And now I draw up to, to four. four. Yep. Okay. All right. I'm now I have a hand of three cards because I used one during her turn. Mm -hmm. um, I am going to move to this location, collect three credits. Oh, I get an ambition first off. Uh, I collect three credits as my first thing. And immediately, I'm going to... Uh, there isn't that out there yet. Okay. I'll have to do that on a future turn. There's Vanquish, which there's nothing to Vanquish. You cannot Vanquish Luke Skywalker. Discard and Fate. I guess I will Fate her again. So, one... I'm, I'm, I'm so nice to you this round, or like this game. All right. So, these are my two <laughs> choices. Ahsoka Tano actually gives her an extra lightsaber. So I am not going to, um, I am not going to, oh, these should be gone. Um, but anyway, I, I'm not going to give her more fuel. So I'm going to not use Ashoka Tano, but I will use yeah. Anakin Skywalker. When Anis, Anakin Skywalker is played, defeat all allies at his location. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to play him here, cover this up, and all of these are immediately defeated. Yeah. All right, um, that was fate. Do I want to discard anything? Um, no, and I'll just draw up to four cards. Okay. Okay, so that's what I've got at the moment. Okay, so it is your turn. Okay. I will... Let's see. Okay. You get an ambition? Yes, sorry. All right. I'm you have to remind me because sometimes I forget. Sorry. I, I know, I was forgetting. I, I'm just saying, <laughs> keep me in check here is all I'm saying. All right, I'm going to do this. Oh, but that's a... Oh, fudge nuggets. Okay. Interesting. Okay, hold on. I'm going to... Okay, I'll go here. All right, so you've got four actions. Okay. <laughs> what is maneuver? 
maneuver? Maneuver, maneuver means I can... lets you move. Um, I think that lets you move stuff on your side of the board. Um, maneuver. Um, okay, so the action only applies to cards on the villain, villain bottom side of the sector. Bottom. Side. Yes. So you can only maneuver cards that are down here, not hero cards that are up here. Just Otherwise, I'd be maneuvering Luke Skywalker all the way to the Thrones room. But yeah. You can't do that. All right, I'm going to fate you. You're going to fate me. All mm -hmm. right, so two cards from the fate deck. You get to choose uh, between Lando Calrissian and Chewbacca. Ooh. Let's see. We're probably going to be at least three. <laughs> wow. When Lando Calrissian is used, is played. Wait, what is so when Lando Calrissian is played, meaning when you put him down here, yeah. uh, remove an ally at his location. So meaning you get to remove one, one of, of my cards. Yeah. I see. Okay. And then Chewbacca is at least three allies must be used, which you kind of already... Now, can I place this here? You can. Even though Luke is already yes. there? Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. He's only two though. Okay, I'm gonna do Lando. Okay, and which of these do you want to remove? This one here. Death Troopers. Yes. All right, so Death Troopers is gone. And this one goes down. to your oh to Not my to discard pile. Yeah. Okay, so I did the fate action. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get two credits. Okay, one two. And I'm going to play a card. Okay. And I'm going to pay three credits to do this one here. The Magna Guard, which is mag uh, heroes cannot be moved or maneuvered from Magna Guard's location. Mm -hmm. Okay, heroes cannot be moved. Wait a minute. Okay, interesting. That's weird though, I mean. Yeah, it's kind of odd. I thought if you couldn't do that already, then I wonder if there are special conditions that allow them to be moved, but. Okay, so you have to sp you spent three credits to do that. Mm -hmm. He's got a strength of four, which is really good. So Anakin's in trouble. One, two, three. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I have a feeling that you're getting your lightsabers faster than I'm gonna get my. No, I doubt it. Luke, <laughs> where he needs to go. Okay. Yeah, I was done, right? Oh, so you did your... Oh, sorry. <laughs> you did your play a card. There's yeah. fate. There's two credits. You can discard if you want. Oh, yeah. Um... <sighs> and that would end your turn, so you just draw back up at that point. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to discard... Mm... Yeah, I'll discard this one. And I'm going to bring back up, go back up okay. to two. All right, God. All right, I get an ambition, and I am going to. I guess I'll go here, mm -hmm. and this allows me to take an ambition action. Okay. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'll take one credit first off. Then I'm going to take the play a card action. And for three credits, I'm going to put out Darth Vader's TIE Advanced X1, um, which has its own ability as well. So every time I go here, I can play these actions and do this. So I'm going to put out the TIE Advanced. Oh, nice. And um, that was my play a card. I'll play this ambition, another join us or die, which allows me to spend an ambition to move Luke Skywalker closer to the throne room. So that's another discard there. And I've got a fate and a, I already gained the credits. So I think I'll fate you anyway, even though like you're on a roll here, I, I feel like I need to, to swamp you with stuff. All right, so let's see. Um, Ooh. Okay, um, I think we're gonna do this again. So um, I'm going to discard exposed and I will put you back under repair. Ugh, <laughs> so it says you must immediately Sorry. discard down the two cards. You can only draw up to two cards at the end of your turn. Pay six credits to remove under repair. 
So you are now damaged in some way. Nice. <laughs> 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 All right, this, he, this is where he's, this is the part in the Star Wars lore yeah. where he developed Smoker's Cough. Yeah, this is true. <laughs> yes. So, um... I think that's it for me. I don't, I've done all of my actions. Okay. So you draw up to four now? I will draw up to four cards. Okay. One and... I get ambition, right? You do get an ambition. Uh, there you go. Wow, well, you've got a lot of ambition there. I don't um, like that. I'm going to come here. And I'm going to pay four ambition. Use this ambition action. All right. But, all right. So you do that. That's fine. I'm going to play this as well. But you can... That's fine. We'll resolve yours first. Collect one lightsaber for four ambition. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. So oh. you get a lightsaber. And you get two ambition. So, well, discard yours, mm -hmm. right? You got your lightsaber. This is the power of the Jedi. During their turn, if another player spends two or more ambition, you may play this card to gain two ambition. Mm -hmm. So this gives me two. Two ambition, very nice. I'm going to vanquish. Anakin with my four strength and his four strength, so this goes away. Yep, yeah, they both cancel each other out, yeah. and you get a lightsaber from him. Yep. Yeah. So you're up to what four? Mm -hmm. You're halfway to beating me. I'm just saying. You're, you're pretty close too, you know. I need I need to get Luke over there still. And I'm going to discard my last card, and I can only get up to two because I have no credits. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. God. All right. So I need to get rid of Lando here big time. So um, what I'm going to do is, unfortunately, this one does not have the action that I want. Actually, what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to come... Well, first, I get an ambition. I have all these credits. Where did I get all the... Oh, I, I should have spent three. I'm sorry. I should have spent three for this. Three I, ambition or three credits? Three credits. I didn't. Oh, okay. I have one credit left. I forgot to spend three credits for that. Um, I think I'm going to come over to my tie advance now, my new spot. Gain two ambition. And I can do these actions. Play a card, vanquish, and um, maneuver. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to play a card. I will play... I guess Imperial Stormtroopers for one credit. And this collectively gives me plus one strength for each Imperial Stormtrooper in wow. this sector. Very nice. I'm going to use the Vanquish action to use this to Vanquish Lando. This is two, this is two. And this goes away, and this goes away, and I lose my modifier there. Now, when a hero is defeated, move Luke Skywalker one location toward the Emperor's wow. throne room. So he is now here. Ooh. And lastly, a maneuver. I can maneuver a card, which I really don't care to do. Um, I mean, you could maneuver Palpatine. No, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, I'll maneuver him over to the Death Star, but I guess that's all I can do. And then I'll draw up to four cards. Nice. All right. I'm going to fate. You're going to fate me? <laughs> All right, so one and two. So uh, let's see here. You've got, um, okay, the force is strong with this one. Shuffle the fate discard pile back into the deck, then play the top card. If the top card is the force is strong with this one, place it on the discard pile without effect. Um, okay, and then this one is more powerful than you can imagine. Darth Vader cannot perform ambition actions. Uh, Darth Vader must discard his entire hand during a discard action to remove more powerful than you can possibly imagine. So these are the two fate cards that you have to deal with. Oh, jeez. This is an entire hand during a discard action to remove. Wow. Discard pile back into the deck. Okay. I'll do this one. Okay, so this is uh, Darth Vader. Uh, okay, so more powerful than you can possibly. So this says Darth Vader cannot perform ambition actions. Um, so I, at the moment, I cannot perform ambition actions. I must discard my entire hand during a discard action to remove it. Mm -hmm. So you're essentially stopping me from winning the game right yes, now. Yes, I am. So that's, that's really good for you. So I... 
I am now, that's me. In order for me to actually beat you, I have to remove this first. Because I can't, because I have to use this ambition power in it order. It seems like it's easy, though. You just have to discard the entire hand. Yeah, but I have to spend an extra turn to do it. Yeah, well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And then I'm going to get two credits. Okay, two credits. Yep. Did you get your ambition? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, oh, that's the wrong token. That's a Kylo Ren token, I think. Okay, so you get your ambition, and you're going to take two credits? Yes, two credits. Okay, one, two. I hate that the credits and the ambition look the same. They do. It's too silly. Anyways, and then I'm going to discard... Well... Okay. Oh, sorry. Dang, that stinks, bro. I really need six credits. <laughs> this is rough. All right. I think... I think I'm going to keep it. All right. So now you can draw up. If you're done... I can't. I can't draw. I can only... Oh, to two. Card. That's right. Yeah. Under repair. I forgot about that. Damn. All right. Well, at the start of my turn, I get an ambition. Nice. Um, I have to... Well... I Yeah. I have to... I cannot... This is an awesome card, but I'm going to have to get rid of it. I have to be at a non-vehicle location, but I could move and then do it. But the problem is, is that I, I, that card is stopping me. So I have to, unfortunately, lose this awesome card. It essentially allows me to move there and win the game, but I can't. So because of this, this awful card. So what I'm going to do instead is I will move here for two credits because it has that discard thing on it. And I will... Try and do as much as I can in my hand before that happens. I'm going to gain two credits, which I will immediately... Uh, you know what? No, I'll take two credits. Uh, and then I'll spend one of them to play Imperial Stormtroopers, nice. which modifies that and that. And I have one credit remaining. So I did play a card. I did credits. I can do an ambition action if I want, but I don't can't because... Oh, that's are... right. And then lastly, I have to discard my my hand. So I'm going to get rid of all my cards. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, there's that. And now I get rid of this. Yes. And now and you win next turn. <laughs> if I can. Um, I'm going to draw up to... Look how many ambition tokens you have. Just say it. <laughs> um, oh, did I put that in the wrong pile? I did. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay. So here's the new cards that I got. Not as cool as my other ones, but mm -hmm. wow! All right, is it your? Is it my turn? Uh, it is your turn. Ambition. You get an ambition. Uh, I guess I'll go here and get three credits. Now, how do I pay for this? Do I have to be on any? Action? Anytime you want to use it, you can. I'm use it. using all my credits. Okay, right. so you're gonna spend your six credits yes. to remove that awful that card. It's rough, man. Okay. And uh, I can't really do anything else. <laughs> What is that one? Vanquish? I don't There's know one play Vanquish. a card. Uh, you got your credits. Vanquish right. and Ambition. That's it. That's all I can do. All right. Um, well, I think that's it. Dang it. Um, I'm going to move here. Emperor Palpatine conflicted. Darth Vader. I'm going to spend my six Ambition. And that is it. Nice. Darth Vader. You win. You got halfway there already. How did you like this game? It was, it was okay. I liked it. Um... Dang, I need a six more. He's expensive, General Grievous. He is, three credits? He, if if I had put these down, my mm -hmm. two allies, and then spent, so that's three credits, and then it's another three credits, a so six credits, I could have gotten at least one lightsaber. He's too, he, I think he's difficult. <laughs> I don't know. I have, I have not played this game before to know which heroes are hard or not. Yeah. I like Darth Vader. I mean, he has a very clear-cut, simple objective. Yeah. You, I feel like I can cheese a bit by not fading you. Yeah. But at the same time, it looks like you have cards in your deck that help you bring heroes out. I need four ambition to do that. Like to collect that one, that one, one card, right? The, to collect one lightsaber is four ambition. The With other, that one card, though, right? It was a card. So yeah. you have to have it in your hand and play it in order to use it. Yes. So you rely on there being heroes out here to yeah. get the lightsabers you need. And then this one too, like like you said, you can cheese it by just not taking the fate action, you know? Right. It's tough. It's a lot tougher. He's he's very tough. <laughs> I well, again, we may not have played most efficiently. Most efficiently, right. I felt like I got I don't know, like 
I got, I felt like I didn't have a lot of heroes to contend with on my side. So maybe if you had faded me more, it would have slowed me down more. I don't yeah, know. I tried. I really yeah. tried. So you had some other heroes that we did not see. Mm -hmm. uh, there was Princess Leia. That could have been a possible ally. Mm -hmm. All of Darth Vader's ambition, actions, and abilities are increased by one. Uh, Millennium Falcon, that's a vehicle that would be played over top the TIE uh, advanced there. Um, let's see, there's an X-Wing. When X-Wing is played, flip, flip Luke Skywalker to his focused side. Uh -huh. um, Han Solo, Darth Vader's cost to play allies is increased by one. So essentially, like, you're starving me with these fake cards, I think. Yeah. Um, that's what it seems to be the, the general consensus here. Obi-Wan Kenobi. Darth Vader places his entire hand in the discard pile when played. Wow. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's not bad. What, what did you have in your fate deck? Yeah. Anything good? Mm, yeah. Uh, good captured. Remove one lightsaber from General Grievous and put it back in. Ooh. So uh -huh. there is there is a way to bring him back. Interesting. Oh, yeah. Uh, Plo Kloon... Uh, Jedi Starfighter, which we didn't see. Mm -hmm. The Negotiator is another vehicle that could have gone out there. Oh, by the way, whenever an enemy vehicle is in your deep space and you do not have a card there to block him or engage him, that's one thing we didn't even touch on was engaged and stuff. Mm. This would have forced you to have a minimum, like it brings your hand size down by one. Oh my God. So having an enemy vehicle out here that is not engaged reduces your hand limit. Oh my God. Yeah, so we didn't even see that this game, but that is a thing. How do you even win a game like that? You can't. It's impossible. Well, I guess it all depends. Obi-Wan Kenobi was there, Mace Windu, and some retreat cards. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. So would you play this again? Would you try it with different characters? I, I would. I, I like Villainous. I wish... I don't like being the bad guys in games like, you know, in, yeah, in, general. in general. Yeah, but I liked the gameplay of it because, like, everyone's objective is so different. So all the strategies are so different. I would love to see. Like, Villainous has how many... I've seen expansions for it. Mm -hmm. I think there's, what, like, 15, 20-some villains that yeah, were there's, expanded? there's custom-made stuff, too. Like, all online and everything. Just like in Dice Throne. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I have to hope that, like, this is the box... Like, there's room for these two decks, uh, but there's still a little bit of room left over. Mm -hmm. I have to wonder if they're planning to add more villains. I hope they do. Because mm -hmm. uh, you're only getting five with this. Yeah. You've got Kylo Ren, Asajj Ventress, uh, Moff Gideon from Mandalorian, and so on. And they all do something different. It's unfortunate you don't like the, the Disney, the regular Disney I, one. It's the theme. I just, I'm not a big Disney person. Yeah. I don't you know. You like Similo Fables, right? It's okay. Kind of. But there wasn't a whole lot of Disney in Similo. <laughs> it was just it was just animals. <laughs> I mean, it's not really cart. You know what I mean? It's not Disney Disney. Yeah. I, I'm not that invested in Cinderella. Scarf I'm, there's Lion King Scarface. Oh, well, there you go. You know? Sold. <laughs> no, I, I will pick Star Wars over, over. Cinderella any day of the week, oh. okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just uh, the theme is what prompted me to pick this up. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. I liked it, and I would play it again. And I will definitely try a different character next time. I might do Kylo Ren next time to see how he would play. You know what we could do? What? We could get the Disney stuff and then like... They're not compatible. Then skin it. Like, just just skin it. No. No? No. Oh. <laughs> My imagination is not that expanded. Oh, man. I can't look at uh, Jafar or whatever. Is, is that even Disney? I couldn't look at yeah. any of them and think, oh, that's Luke Skywalker or whatever. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm sorry. I would I would reskin the heck out of that. Uh -huh, I sure. think it'd be fun. Uh -huh. Just copy. Like, you'd, you'd have little pieces of uh, paper that you cut out and just ta yeah. taped on top of Get, it. Get, like, the articles of Star that's, Wars that's stuff awful. and then paste that's, it. That's just... You know how many people that would be triggered by that on anywhere? I'm just saying. Yeah. Anyway. So, you, who would you be looking to play next if we were to play again? Um, probably the, um, what's her face? Asajj Ventress. I don't know their names. Uh, okay. So, Asajj Ventress. The one with the double lightsabers there? Her? No, Kylo. Kylo? Okay. Well, if you're going to be Kylo, then I would have to pick between her and Moff Gideon. From Mandalorian. Oh. His objective, I'm just going to take a look real quick because I didn't even look at these. Uh, uh, capture and experiment on Grogu, which is Baby Yoda. Mm -hmm. So I guess I have to find Grogu in my deck and capture and experiment on him. See, that's dark. That, that's why I don't really like Villainous because it's so dark <laughs> and it's all about the evil stuff. And I don't, yeah. I, I'm not too big on Asajj that. Asajj Ventress, uh, complete three missions. 
She has her own, like, there's a Spate deck and there's a Draw deck, mm -hmm. but she has her own mission deck. Wow. Uh, so, like, these are mission, these are, like, things that you're trying to do throughout the game. If you complete three of them, then you win. Mm. So, yeah, she's got a separate third deck that no one else has for missions. That reminds me of the stepmother from the Disney villainess from oh. Cinderella. Yeah, because they it, all this plays very similar to the Disney stuff. I'm it's sure it just, does. Just the different characters. The only thing I don't like about the Star Wars one is that I'm not too knowledgeable in it. You know, I like General Grievous because he's like my favorite character because of all those lightsabers. <laughs> he's got like 15 lightsabers. Yeah. And yeah. the only other one I know is Darth Vader. And don't even get me started on the Resistance. I like Kylo said, Ren. Yeah, I only Coward. said I only said Kylo because he's the only one I know. I don't know the other ones. <laughs> Asajj Ventress is more from like the cartoons. Mm -hmm. I've never seen And those. Moff Gideon is from Mandalorian. I've never seen that one either. So I know you don't care to see it. You've seen mm -hmm. me watch it, mm -hmm. but you know. <laughs> Unfortunately. I can't believe I I'm surprised you love Disney, but you can't get hooked on Baby Yoda. I don't love Disney, but I I grew up with it, you know? Yeah. But you grew up with Baby's mom getting shot and now that, and yeah. the line and, and Mambas or Mambas. Now, what's his name? What? The tiny lion. In the line, Simba? Simba. Yes, I was like Mumba. Mumba. I can't Mumba. Mumba. <laughs> Mumba. I was like one of those. But his dad, his dad, died. like, what's it with Disney and killing off parents? I, I don't know. But the classics, you know, I grew up with that. But then as I get older and they're expanding to like take over classics, it's like, eh, you know. Uh -huh. just, I don't know. I just I don't know any of these too much. I understand. <laughs> would you play this again? I would play this again. Okay. Maybe, uh, maybe there may be villainous in the future. I'd have to see. Okay. I'd have to do more research into it if you liked it that much. Mm -hmm. Star Wars Villainous. If you guys haven't already subscribed to me on Twitch and YouTube, that way you can stay up to date with any new content I happen to publish. This is Vincent Idalee. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Bye guys.